greetings. Uh, this uh, presentation is called uh, Two Churches Only. Uh, there's only two two churches in the world, the body of um, the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, believers who've received the uh, grace and love and merit and uh, atonement, appropriated the atonement of the Lord Jesus Christ and received the Holy Spirit, uh, with the Holy Spirit indwelling in the believer's heart. And the other church is the body of Satan, Mammon, the world. Uh, this um, video is just going to clarify some uh, stark contrast between the church known to the world and the church known to the believer in Jesus Christ. I'm going to start with a reading from Colossians chapter 2. And I'll read most of the chapter and just cover a few points for I would that ye knew what great conflict I have for you and for them at Laodicea and for as many as have not seen my face in the flesh that their hearts might be comforted being knit together in love and unto all riches of the full assurance of understanding to the acknowledgement of the mystery of God and of the Father and of Christ in whom are hid all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge and this I say lest any man should beguile you with enticing words for though I be absent in the flesh yet I am with you in the spirit joying and beholding your order and the steadfastness of your faith in Christ as ye have therefore received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk ye in him, rooted and built up in him, and established in the faith, as ye have been taught, abounding therein with thanksgiving. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit, after the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. For in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily, and ye are complete in him, which is the head of all principality and power. Um, I'm going to put in the title, Head of the Church? Question uh, mark. In the world there's so many people representing the Church, the Church of England, the Queen Elizabeth, um, uh, claims and professes to be the head of the Church of England. Well, the Queen of England is not the head of uh, my church. Um, the head of the church I belong to is Christ, and it clearly uh, states in the Holy Scriptures. Uh, the Pope is not the head and representative of the church in Rome. He, he's, a, um, he's a charlatan, he's a harlot. These people are... Uh, the Lord, the word refers to these people as whores, as harlots. Um, as a more, um, I remember some common, common horrible, um, vulgar slang. You know, slapper, um, not a very nice word. A slapper, or a squatty mattress, or the local bike, uh, uh, referring to uh, a woman of the night, a, a prostitute. But these people have prostituted themselves and they're in bed and compromised with the world powers and which they serve mammon, they don't serve Jesus Christ, they don't represent me, they don't re represent believers and they don't represent the word of God, they represent their own wicked vain hearts. Um, considering uh, recently in, in, in politics um, the passing of uh, G, uh, the 5G technology by this company um, Huawei, this um, this controversy. Oh, you know they shouldn't do it. The Chinese, this left-right paradigm, a uh, bit like Brexit, the dividing and the uh, undermining of people's confidence in um, politics, which I personally be believe and presume that it's just to ferment uh, division and cause um, disruption which can be later exploited into violence and aggravation and war um, like the uh, problem reaction solution the same old game of old which is uh, played out in the world stage um, 
Now, Queen Elizabeth, ha uh, I know, had a personal audience from a, an expert that was originally um, commissioned by the government to test this uh, Wi-Fi, test this 5G technology and 3G technology for generation, f fourth generation, fifth generation technologies, and he absolutely condemned them. But that's not what the government wanted to hear because they're compromised and they serve mammon, they serve money. And, and they will not give the truth. So the Queen has just given the green light and Theresa May has passed, passed it as law for this um, Huawei to take part in the infrastructure. But you've got all this controversy over, oh, they're not allowed to do the core the core components, just certain components, components of the infrastructure. It's all a dialect to... I don't know where it's leading, but I can only assume it's... Um, against the gospel, it's against Jesus Christ, it's against the truth. Because this technology will it will harm it will harm people and this has been negated, this has been lied about. These these people are liars. These are devils and they're, they're serving the world. They're not serving Jesus Christ and they do not represent or speak for believers in in Jesus Christ. I'm just going to continue reading um, Colossians so Jesus Christ is the head of the church, he's the head of the body and the word of God is a believer's final authority, not um, Justin Welby, not, not the Pope, not any, not any Mormon prophet, not any Jehovah's Witness leader. None of these leaders are representations of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now whether individuals in those bodies are saved, that's a matter for God, but they do not... Um, Clearly, they do not represent the gospel and the holy word. In whom also ye are circumcised with the circumcision made without hands, in putting off the body of the sins of the flesh by the circumcision of Christ, buried with him in baptism, wherein also ye are risen with him through the faith of the operation of God who hath raised him from the dead. And ye being dead in your sins, and the uncircumcision of your flesh have he quickened together with him, having forgiven you all trespasses, blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us, which was contrary to us, and took it out the way, nailing it to his cross. And having spoiled principalities and powers, he made a show of them openly, triumphing, triumphing over them in it. Let no man therefore judge you in meat, or in drink, or in respect of a holy day, or in the new moon, or of the Sabbath days, which are a shadow of things to come, but the body is of Christ. The body is of Christ. Let no man beguile you of your reward in vol voluntary humility and worshipping of angels, intruding into those things which he hath not seen, vainly puffed up by his fleshy mind, and not holding the head, and not holding the head from which all the body, by joints and hands, having nourishment, ministered and knit together in the increase, with the increase of God. Wherefore, if ye be dead with Christ from the rudiments of the world, why, as though living in the world, are ye subject to ordinances? Touch not, taste not, handle not, which are all to perish with the using after the commandments and the doctrines of men which things have indeed a show of wisdom in all will worship and humility and neglecting of the body, not in any honour to the satisfying of the flesh. So um, don't keep the head from the believer. Don't, don't Anything that comes in between a believer's faith is um, robbing that person of a relationship and their liberty. And these people are clearly... Um, got a religious appearance they say all the right they can say all the right words but by their fruit you you can see that they're clearly um, you can measure them with the word of God that these are robbers these are liars these are wicked people um, and, and recently I'm just um, aggravated I get I get quite angry with with lies because um, my whole life's been uh, a lie I've been abused and that that that's been denied so a lie will always trigger my aggravation and wounding and um, I have to trust in the Lord to help me deal with that on a day moment to moment basis. So 
I wanted to um, <clears throat> include in, 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 in the two churches, there's only two churches, the spiritual church and the false church, the harlot, and that is clearly seen. And that has the predominance, that has the main voice of the believer. It robs the world of the knowledge of the gospel of Jesus Christ and the word of God. And I'm going <clears> to <throat> go to Romans 1. Uh, Romans 1. Romans one twenty. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so they are without excuse. So the world has, um, the world in unbelief, chooses not to accept Jesus Christ so the world will continue in its own way in its wickedness in its unbelief and lies and all, all that you see in the world is, is just lies and perpetual lies and the world is without excuse because the creation uh, testifies of the creator the beautiful glorious uh, creation the, the, the wildlife the a human race are all evidence of a, a divine designer, the Lord Jesus Christ, God the Father and God the Holy Spirit. And this is denied by uh, those who represent Christianity. They're, they are liars. Um, now there's no scripture that says that there's only two churches, but there there is um, references from our Lord, uh, Luke 16, Clearly, the, the clear contrast between the flesh and the, and, the, and the holiness, the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God, the love of God, the grace and pureness of uh, God the Father, His Word and only begotten, beloved Son, Jesus Christ. Uh, Luke 16, um, verse 13. No servant can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. So regarding regarding the religious figures in our in the United Kingdom, do they serve do they serve God or do they serve mammon? Well clearly they compromise all all all, poli all politics is compromised. Uh, you won't get the truth. Um, I was studying the ascendancy of Queen Elizabeth and um, referring to um, speculation of the next monarch who takes her place and will the ascending powers allow, um, uh, um, remove any more powers from the Queen. So it's quite evident, if you study this out, the, the, power, the Queen has no power, government has no power, the powers are behind and they write the rules and these people are just um, puppets is a better word and they compromise and lie and they won't give the truth to the uh, British people. It's like uh, Brexit, I saw a, um, um, on Fox News in America they, they are portraying the news that uh, Britain's spending so many thousand pounds on riot squads and preparing for riots. Now I've heard no such um, news story printed in this country or um, portrayed in this country, broadcast in this country that our, our government spent all this money on uh, riot squads and preparing for violence and riots. It, it, it's fermented uh, cultivated um, machinations, machinations to uh, further justify the wickedness and the control of our rights and freedoms. And the Queen is um, serving that body. She she's uh, wicked. She needs to repent. Um, the, the, the Church of England needs to repent. Uh, these people are uh, despicable. They they just make me angry and cross. They're, they're like a, a, 
it just get up my nose. Um, Matthew 23. But ye, be ye not called rabbi, for one is your master, even Christ, and all ye are brethren. So, clearly we're all um, equal in the body of Christ, we're all brethren. Uh, call no man rabbi, give no man titles. Another, another thing which, uh, as a, a born-again believer, and as a weak person, as a... A, a frail, naive, um, handicapped, for a better word, person, um, found found it very difficult finding my way in in faith, and and, and thank thank the Lord, uh, the blessed Lord, had His grace and mercy and patience and long suffering and His word to shape me, to guide my footsteps, to correct me, and uh, I've been corrected often. Uh, and chastise often and I am thankful for it because of the Word of God and to steer me through the, the narrow way the way of Christ um, and all that's in opposition to this um, one of the confusing things is the title of pastor you know there's another thing uh, uh, the, the scriptures clearly clearly show you know call no man rabbi no man, a rabbi's teacher uh, give no one, don't give men titles because it creates um, an imbalance. The Lord said um, to the early, the early uh, Jews in or Israel to not use um, uh, diverse weights and measures. That means putting a big piece over little pieces and ra and raising those pieces. But but in in Christ, all are all are equal, all are brethren. Although those pieces are there. Those uh, people are gifted more than others, but we are all brethren. There's no, there's no hierarchy. There's no, no office. There's no uh, lording it over people le in 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 a clergy type leadership. But there are people with more responsibility, uh, more more upon their shoulders, more that they're, they're um, gifted more, so that that they've got more to give. But we are all equal in Christ. Um, just weights, because Christ is a just weight and measure, and we're all completed by the grace of Jesus Christ. We don't need anyone else for our salvation and 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 to teach us. Although we need teachers, and we need leaders, and we need people who are pastors who uh, pastor us, but um, not not the titles because that that creates a um, an imbalance that people um, trust over uh, dependent become dependent on the flesh and 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 the, and the false church imitates this and this this causes a division and leads people astray um, right uh, John eight twenty three This is the Lord speaking. And he said unto them, Ye are from beneath, I am from above. Ye are of this world, I am not of this world. So the Lord's speaking there to the flesh that uh, no man, no man has come. There's no pre existence. Um, uh, only, only the Lord has, um, the only begotten, is the only one who's seen the Father. He is clearly stating he is holy, he is pure, he's eternal, and he's from above, the highest, the most high. He's from the Father, sent from the Father, came willingly, being the second member of the Godhead to give it to sacrifice himself for us to, to save all men. And it clearly he he's stating that all without Christ are of the devil. We're all born in sin. Um there's no exceptions barring the Lord Jesus Christ. There's no other holy God. There's no other holy begotten Son of God. 
other than the one that was sent, who came in the flesh in the express image of, his, of God the Eternal Father, who's a consuming fire. And he took up on the, the body of a man. And he's clearly stating that there's only two, um, there's only two, two contrasts, holy and unholy, and, and the whole world, uh, Romans 3, um, I think it's verse 20, that, uh, that there's none righteous, no, not one. So you, the, the, the Holy Word teaches you must be born again, you must be born of the Spirit. I'll read John 3. Just to clarify, and the door, Jesus Christ, the Advocate, um, uh, John chapter 10. Jesus answered, Verily I say unto you, except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Marvel not, I say unto thee, you must be born again. The wind bloweth where it listeth, and, it, and thou hearest the sound thereof, but, canst, can, but canst not tell whence it cometh, and whether it goeth. So is every one that is born of the Spirit. Nicodemus answered and said unto him, How can these things be? Jesus answered and said unto him, Art thou a master of Israel, and knowest not these things? Verily, verily, I say unto thee, We speak that we do know, and testify that we have seen and ye, ye receive not our witness. If I told you earthly things, and ye believe not, how shall ye believe if I tell you of heavenly things? And no man have sended up to heaven, but he that came down from heaven, even the Son of Man which is in heaven. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. A fulfilled prophecy, of course, uh, the, because the Lord's completed his work on the cross, and receive the victory and give granted the victory because he is the victory that whosoever believe in him should not perish but have eternal life for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whom whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life for God sent not his world in God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved he that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is a condemnation, that light is come into the world, and men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. For every one that doeth evil hateth the light, and neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light, that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are wrought in God. So clearly, uh, in the Lord's uh, sh sharing there, that the whole world is un remains under condemnation because it rejected Jesus Christ. I read in um, Romans 1, the Godhead is uh, the witness and there's no excuse. Everybody can comprehend the works of God and the creation, but they just won't accept the Lord Jesus Christ because of wickedness and unbelief. So they deny him. And as a, as a result, they remain sinners and they remain, remain in the world's image, serving mammon, and their head is Satan, the devil. And all are, are yoked and in condemnation for rejecting what, what was done and what was offered and what was um, sealed and secure and downlaid upon, by the rock, which is the crucifixion of the Lord and his victory over the grave, his death, burial and resurrection and, and ascending back to the Father where he remains on the right hand of God eternally, interceding for um, all men if, if they believe and interceding for the, the believer, um, go to Timothy. Which clearly shows that all these um, religious leaders are liars, they're mammon, and they're of the whore, the harlot. And they need to get out of those systems and repent because they are leading people into this um, one world, eugenic, programmed, intentionist. Uh, 
design against the uh, powers and liberty and freedom of, 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 of the world and, and the Lord's mercifully stretched out but he's going to pour out his wrath he's going to deliver his church and um, the world's going to continue on its own way it will not relent it's, it's, it's becoming emboldened in its wickedness in getting away with murder it, um, it crushes people on a daily basis and it does it does not care it's all lip service and this is what we're seeing in in in, in our country and all around the world we're seeing this uh lip service and these continual perpetual lies um right uh first timothy 2 5 for there is one god and one mediator between god and the man and men the man christ jesus who gave himself a a ransom for all to be testified in due time so there's no excuse not to accept the Lord Jesus Christ and clearly these religions um, have rejected him um, and clearly teach uh, a false gospel a false message to yoke you to their systems to control you to lord it over you and rob you of your salvation or rob the world of those those people who enter in without being born again I'm not saying that all people in these systems are not born again because there, there may be a, a, a dusting of people that have received Christ and who worship in these buildings um, but clearly there's only there's only um, two churches and the world is is going really going astray and it's uh, pushing on but onwards into the um, globalist agenda and the uh, antichrist system it's all evident all the components are uh, brazenly being rolled out and, and where the lord holds back and scuppers their efforts they're pushing for the next one they're, they're currently pushing for as a distraction it appears that they're pushing for the oh to war on climate change you know this is another old uh, record that they spun in the past it used to be global heating now it's global warming and this this I believe comes from Rome because it's to eventually to burden people and tax people anyone who wants to live an independent existence is going to be penalized it's going to be crushed and it's going to be taxed you know they're not going to tax industry heavy, heavily they're going to they're going to uh, restrict and tax and burden the uh, common man and lead you into its own image, steer you into its own image, like the internet, it, how it controls, you know, it controls how it organises your files, it, con it controls what gets shown on the media, Facebook, YouTube, that it's all controlled. Um, if you've got something to say, you'll be pushed to the bottom, you'll be hidden, you'll be buried, because it wants to sponsor its own agenda, its own image. It doesn't want the world to hear about Christ. Uh, the enemy has been against the gospel since the beginning, and 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 that same power is evident today. If you if you read Psalm, Psalm two, I'm going to read some Psalms I've picked out recently in my studies, just about the heart of man, known by King David, and the the will of God given to King David before the the advent of the Lord Jesus Christ and the fulfilling of the prophecy that has been fulfilled. Um, let me start with uh, uh, Psalm 98 how the world are without excuse so if you're listening to this and you're not a believer and you're put off put off Christ by religion don't don't listen to religion but fear God and depart from evil and seek and receive salvation it's guaranteed your salvation is 100% secure if, if you just but believe and seek out the Lord sincerely and contritely call upon him to receive that salvation and, and that's through faith alone in Jesus Christ alone Psalm 98 I sing unto the Lord a new song for he hath done marvellous things his right hand and his holy arm, his holy arm have gotten him the victory so there's a prophecy in, uh, given to King David, I believe, and the preeminently the Lord's uh, stating 
have gotten him the victory. Now, we know, as believers, we know that victory is uh, finalised on the cross. That's the victory of the believer, of a sinle the sinless God paying for the fullness of every man's sin, uh, past, present and future. And he suffered those sins, being holy, appeased God's justice, and, and conditionally his offer, offering his forgiveness and mercy f uh, f uh, to forgive any individual all of their sins on appropriating what he has done for them what what no man can do for themselves and that's impute righteousness within themselves because men are born liars from the beginning and they all go their own way we all go astray my flesh goes astray on a daily basis and if i don't read the word and renew my mind in the holy scriptures i will slip just like that into sin into anger into swearing um, there's so many things I, I I pray that the Lord remove from my heart and 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 the Lord does but if I don't continually uh, study and remain vigilant and be thankful and do all the things the Lord's given us to do rejoice and study the word and share the gospel I will fall back in into my I will resurrect all, all my old habits and it's not something I want to resurrect it's not something my heart or spirit desires the Lord have made known his salvation so there we have it so the Lord's made known his salvation from the beginning um, Abraham believed and was saved by faith and then come the covenant and the law because of unbelief um, the Lord had made known his salvation, his righteousness, have he openly showed in the sight of the heathen. So there's a prophecy. Now, it, it, the Lord has, has revealed his righteousness um, throughout history. Openly showed it in the, if you read the Old Testament, you can see how he, he brought all the wickedness to naught. And he delivered King David from his enemies and the... David's faith and trust in in the Lord. The, the, David was able to vanquish all his enemies. Are all brought down to naught. All, all come to naught. He have remembered his mercy and and his truth towards the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Now all the ends of the earth know Jesus Christ. They know they know the story. They know. The, they, they know of his death, his burial and his resurrection. Believe, believe in him is another matter, but they know of him and they could seek and come to know that that is true, that that is um, a reality, that Jesus Christ is. He's not. Uh, it's not open for debate. It's open to believe or not believe. If you believe, you will receive and you will know. If you don't believe, you're never going to know and you're not going to receive and you will go to hell. It's uh, And there is no man will be without excuse in this day and age or any day and age he have remembered his mercy and his true truth toward the house of israel all the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our god so he the lord hasn't um uh, struck off israel israel aren't out of his will israel are not um being replaced by the church israel are just temporary on the sidelines and the gospel of um, mercy is open to the the Jews, the Israelites, and and the heathen, or those who do not believe in anything, the Gentile world. He have remembered his mercy and his truth toward the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. So Jew or Gentile, there's no excuse not to accept the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, but we know from the scriptures the Jews are hardened in their unbelief. And the Jews, I believe, are not not all Israel uh, would be titled Jews. Um, the Jews and are from certain houses, uh, Judah and Levi, I believe. That would be referring to the Jews, and the other the the house of Israel are the other tribes that are lost and scattered, or but known to God. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all the earth. Make a loud noise and rejoice and sing praise. Sing unto the Lord with the harp, with the harp and the voice of a psalm. With trumpets and sound of a cornet, make a joyful noise before the Lord, the King. 
the King of Israel. Let the sea roar and the fullness thereof, the world, and they that dwell therein. Let the floods clap their hands together. Let the floods clap their hands. Let the hills be joyful together before the Lord, for he cometh to judge the earth. With righteousness shall he judge the world and the people with e equity. So he's just, he's holy, he's, he's faithful. His prophecy is in two parts. He will come for his bride and he will return at the end in, in, and bring in, in, in judgment. Uh, but if you're a believer today, you will, you're faithfully waiting for the Lord's promise to return. A lot of people are against the rapture, against the calling of the bride. And that is something that each and believer needs to trust the Lord and seek his will, to know his purpose and to know his doctrine and not what men teach but what his holy word teaches and what his holy spirit will reveal to any sincere any sin sincere student because that's all i am a student in life and a, a student in the holy scriptures and a, a student i remain until i was until i know the lord and see him face to face as i am known rather than through faith and through the blessings of the, his grace and his holy spirit and his faithfulness in uh, working in my life um, as i seek him as i trust him and as i remain faithful to him and that which i've received at the beginning when i first called upon the lord all right let's go to jeremiah So, preeminently, the Lord speaking of his, his finished work all the way from beginning to end. Uh, we read that in Psalm 98. And it's all throughout the scriptures. He have, he already has. He's, he's eternal and he's true. And he say, you know, he 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 saves even before his um, death, burial, and resurrection. Uh, Heal me, O Lord! I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved. For thou art my praise. Uh, verse twelve, Jeremiah seventeen, verse twelve. A glorious high throne from the beginning is the place of our sanctuary. So the eternal, the eternal Lord is the beginning, and the ending. The the Jesus Christ is the the root the offspring of David, the bright and morning star, the Alpha and Omega, he's complete. He's always been complete, he's always been holy. He just manifests his holiness and his work on the cross and sealed it for to draw all men unto himself uh, to so that so no man is without excuse. And uh, there'd be no excuse to say, Oh, you know, why didn't you seek the Lord? Well, I didn't believe you might say, Well, you, your unbelief it will condemn you eternally in, in, in hellfire, in anguish and torment. So I would exhort anyone who's not a believer to seek the Lord Jesus Christ and receive that uh, surety and salvation. All right, uh, let's, let's look at the, what the Lord says about um, what's in man's heart from the beginning. Uh, just to clarify his wisdom because within the scriptures there, there, there's a, there's an answer for every single thing in life um it's such a deep rich book that the the i was reading in um judges i believe of milk bottles uh, you know brick houses milk bottles uh, there's nothing new under the sun um man's in man's always had um the ability to uh, to call upon the Lord and 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 um, grow and be increased, but if God is denied, that increase is vain because uh, the 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 Bible says uh, knowledge puffeth up, but um, the fear of God um, brings edification. Uh, the love of God is is edifying, but knowledge is uh, can cause pride. And the world has got all the knowledge, it's got all the goodies, but it denies, it holds 
Jesus Christ behind its back and kicks him into the long grass. It doesn't want to be, it wants all the glory itself. And man, man's works are vanity and they will come to naught. And I'm share, just sharing the scriptures what um, was revealed to King David by the Holy Spirit, by the grace of Jesus Christ uh, from God the Father through him. Uh, Psalm 53 uh, The fool have said in his heart there is no God corrupt are they and have done abom abominable iniquity iniquity is injustice anything unjust anything untrue anything unright anything unfair there is none that doeth good God looked down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were any that did understand that did seek God Every one of them has gone back. Well, look at the world today. Everyone goes their own way. They want to get their own idea on the table. They want to get their look at politics. They're all after their own ambi their own vain ambitions. And these are these people are dubbed up by the pa shadow powers behind. And these people are used, exploited, and thrown away. That's what the devil does to souls. He uses them and throws them away. Every one of them has gone back, they are altogether become filthy, there is none that doeth good, no, not one. That, that, that's repeated in uh, the book of Romans by uh, the Apostle Paul. Have the workers of iniquity no knowledge, who eat up my people as they eat bread. They have not called upon God. There were they in great fear, where no fear was, for God hath scattered the bones of him, that encamp that, that encampeth against thee. Thou hast put them to shame, because God hath despised them. O oh, that the salvation of Israel will come out of Zion, where well, it has. When God bringeth back the captivity of his people, Jacob shall rejoice, and Israel shall be glad. Well, today the Lord has brought, brought the people back to the land, and he's brought Zion back, because uh, the... Uh, the city of uh, Palestine is now today restored back to the true name, the holy city Jerusalem, which was uh, King David's city, uh, which was established through righteousness and, and his faith and trust in the word of God. Uh, so the Lord has, um, salvation has come out of Zion. Um, so that prophecy is fulfilled. All right, let's read um, 58, 1 to 3. I'll mark this one. Do you indeed speak righteousness, O congregation? Question mark. And that, that's referring to the congregations of the time. Um, uh, the, that would be the body of uh, the Hebrews, the believing Hebrews, the congregation of Israel. Uh, but today it refers to the congregation is it will be the believing saint those who've accepted jesus christ or the two churches there's two congregations the congregations of the righteous who've received christ's um, imputed righteousness the the body of christ the church of christ and the congregations of the world do you indeed speak righteousness O congregation question mark do ye judge uprightly, O ye sons of men? Question mark. Yea, in heart ye were wicked. Wickedness, yea, ye weigh the violence of your hands in the earth. The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as, as they are born, speaking lies. Now, I can admit that in myself, and I clearly admit that, that, that the Lord is true. He knows what he's talking about. The Holy Word is is completely true. The King James Bible is pure. It's what it's God's word. It's God breathed. It's it's sealed. It's a lawfully binding book by the law of our the law given to our our nations and the law of God's heart, His will, His righteousness, the the eternal law of the heart, mind, will of God, the Godhead, the God the Father, God the Son, the Word. The Lord Jesus Christ and God the Holy Spirit, His law, His love, uh, love thy neighbour as yourself, and and love God above all things, um, hang and which is which which hangeth all the law, 
it is God's charity, God's salvation, God's mercy presented presented by himself on the cross that all men might he may draw all men unto himself to, to receive his forgiveness and to receive his Holy Spirit, his righteousness. And that can only come through uh, the door, which is in clearly outlined in uh, James ten. So I'm gonna just to end end now in, in Psalm for comfort for the believer who who like myself get get um, f I fret I panic because um, my trauma is aggravated on a daily basis because of the, the lies and um, I need I need that Lord the Lord to appease me I need the Holy Spirit to comfort me and you know help me. Uh, not give uh, way to anger and wrath and and resurrect the old flesh, the angry man in me, the hurt person who, who, who lashes. So I'm going to read Psalm 37 because it's one of the most, one of my favourite scriptures, and the, one of the most comforting scriptures concerning living uh, like um, jo the, the word says that Job, jo um, Lot was vexed every day living in Sodom and Gomorrah by the surrounding vexation of the wickedness and if you study uh, that period of Sodom and Gomorrah it's absolutely disgusting how depraved the whole town the whole town is conspired in its own uh, perversion and it's just getting riper and riper and it's it's a mirror of today's world transgender you get all this hypocrisy um, uh, recently that uh, that that athlete who was um, banished for being too having too much testosterone and who considers herself a female and then you got this other law trying to uh, um, degenderify people which physically your um, your genders um, you know apparent by your physical um, stature and what you're born with so the world is completely topsy-turvy and wickedness is getting brazen and brazen so it's a time if you've not received Jesus Christ today is isn't it's now because you might you, you might die and you never get your chance and um, for the saint I think the the Lord salva you know look up because um, we're edging we're in the end times we know we're approaching the great tribulation yeah and the great tribulation is simply god's anger being poured out and the judgment of the gentile world by the little band of israel that the lord's going to rebuke he's going to rebuke israel but he's going to be merciful but it's to judge the wicked surrounding nations that seek to overthrow god's people god's god's beloved seed that he's chosen uh, god uh, numbered all, all the all, all the the amount of people that would be created solely because of the seed of Israel. So the the seed of Israel, the people of Israel, are always been on the Lord's heart heart and mind from the beginning. They are they are from Him. They were called by Him and they were chosen by Him, and and, and He's not forgotten them. And he, he will restore them, and he has restored them, because Israel can be saved today. But in, in the end times, Israel is going to be judged through the fire. And, and, and all those in that seed will, that, receive, that believe will be delivered and saved. And they, they will be um, rescued by Jesus Christ, appearing with all the saints. Those who have gone up in the tribulation... And, and the Lord's returning with all the congregations with him from heaven. All those who have been saved in the past and all those who, who are saved presently will return with the Lord and uh, deliver and rescue Israel at the last. And then, then it will be the, uh, the Lord's millennial reign and then and then, then life will continue and the, work, the Lord will be... Uh, sovereign over the earth and satan will be vanquished um as he was on, as he has been on the on the cross and that will be realized on at that time and it will, it will unfold and the lord's prophecy will be sh uh, sure 
fret not thyself because of evil doers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity, for they shall soon be cut down, like the grass and wither as the green herb. Trust in the Lord and do good, so, so shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. And he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light, and thy judgment as the noonday. Rest in the Lord, and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself, because of him who prosper, prospereth in his way, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Cease from anger, and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. For evil doers shall be cut off, but those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. Scriptures also says, uh, return, you know, don't return evil for evil, uh, return good for evil. If, it, if evil's done against you, return, return it back with good. For yet a little while, and the wicked shall not be. So, um, this earth is a probation, it's only a short period, and um, what we've been blessed and given with will outweigh all all the suffering, all the misery, and all all the tears, and all the, the, the incomprehensible sadness, and tragedy, and things that people suffer in their lives, will all, it's all for a short period short while for yet a little while and the wicked shall not be yea sh thou shalt dil dil thou shalt diligently consider his place and it shall not be but the meek shall inherit the earth and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace the wicked plotteth against the just and gnasheth upon him with his teeth isn't that the truth the Lord shall laugh at him for he shall seeth that his day is coming. The wicked have drawn out the sword and have bent their bow to cast down the poor and needy and to slay such as be of upright conversation. Their sword shall enter into their own heart and their bows shall be broken. A little that a righteous, that a righteous man have is better than the riches of many wicked. For the arms of the wicked shall be broken, but the Lord upholdeth the righteous. Praise God. The Lord knoweth the days of the upright, and their inheritance shall be for ever. They shall not be ashamed in the evil time, and in the days of famine they shall be satisfied. But the wicked shall perish, and the enemies of the Lord shall be as the fat of lambs. They shall consume, into smoke shall they consume away. The wicked borroweth and payeth not again, but the righteous showeth mercy and giveth. For such as be blessed of him shall inherit the earth, and they that be cursed of him shall be cut off. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down, for the Lord upholdeth him with his hand. I have I have been young, and now I am old, yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed begging bread. He is ever merciful, and lendeth, and his seed is blessed. Depart from evil, and do good, and dwell for evermore. For the Lord loveth judgment, and forsaketh not his saints. They are preserved forever, but the seed of the wicked shall be cut off. The righteous shall inherit the land, and dwell therein forever. The mouth of the righteous speaketh wisdom, and his tongue talketh of judgment. The law of his God is in his heart, none of his steps shall slide. The wicked watcheth the righteous, and seeketh to slay him. The Lord will not leave him in his hand, nor condemn him when he is judged. Wait on the Lord, and keep his way, and he shall exalt thee, exalt thee to inherit the land, when the wicked are cut off, thou shalt see it. I have seen the wicked in great power, and spreading himself like a green bay tree, Yet he passeth, passed away, and lo, he was not. Yea, I sought him, but he could not be found. Mark the perfect man, and behold the upright, for the end of that man is peace. 
but the transgressions, transgressors shall be destroyed together, the end of the wicked shall be cut off, but the salvation of the righteous is of the Lord, he is their strength in the time of trouble, and the Lord shall help them and deliver them, he shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in him. Amen. Praise God. Um, I have a great testimony, a blessed testimony, thanks to the Lord, of his faithfulness, his mercy, and his deliverance from wicked men, and uh, upholding, upholding me through my weakness, and uh, backsliding, and my, my troubles, the Lord's merciful, and uh, the wicked are spreading themselves today like a green bay of tree, but the Lord's victory will catch up with them and they will come to naught. So I'd like to close there and uh, I'm going to close with a prayer. Uh, and uh, finish off this uh, two churches only, the head of the church, question mark. Dear Gracious Father, I thank thee for the, your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, the Holy Word, all the blessings and... I've received your graciousness, your mercy, your correction, and your guiding my footsteps and uh, sharing me uh, your your love and mercy. I pray, Father, for my brothers and sisters. I pray your love be with them. I pray you'll be with those who are constantly out on the streets preaching your gospel. May they be blessed. May they be upheld. May they increase in love and. Uh, or be blessed with all they need. May you be with each of us, all those who struggle, those who are weak. I pray they be lifted and gathered in and filled with your love and mercy and correction. I pray you'll guide the church and those who teach error, those who uh, teach uh, heresy, that you will correct them and bring us all into one heart, one mind, one faith. Father, I pray for correction within myself, within my life. I pray to be open to be taught and corrected. I pray for all those suffering persecution, all those in, that are afflicted, targeted and vexed. I pray you deliver them to still still streams and to rejoice and to uh, and grow. I pray for blessings in in the in the church, in, in all avenues, Father, that your word have free course through us and and outreaching to those in our lives. I pray you bless all that we do in your name that uh, souls will be one and drawn to you, that you will be faithful, we, that we will trust in your promises, that we will trust in your word, we will trust in you and wait upon you. I pray for the conviction and exposing of wicked men and, and the devices against us and our nation and our freedoms. And I pray for peace, Father, and peace in our land. I pray for help and mercy towards all those who serve in our nation, in our in the uh, in the law in the in service to the public body i pray you would embolden the world to speak openly and truly and not fear the compromises of the wicked and to stand for what's right and i pray you draw those who who are upright in heart to uh, accept the lord jesus christ that they may be convicted of their sin and uh, know that their righteousness is uh, a gift it's it's of you and uh, all good things and all good fruits are of your Holy Spirit. I pray people will not deny you and seek you and come to know you through through your mercy, through your grace and through your beloved Son. And I, I pray for the love to increase with, uh, within the body, Father, to help magnify your word. And, and I ask and pray that you bless Israel as a nation. And you'll draw them unto yourself that they may be saved today, that they may seek you and find you early. And, and I pray you will uh, correct all those against Israel and against the truth and expose the falseness, the false Jews, the synagogue of Satan and those who believe they're Jews and corrupt in believing they speak for their own people who, who spend souls like they are confetti. I pray that they're... They will, be, they will come to naught, they will be exposed, they will be convicted and uh, and people will start to see the uh, machinations in our world and seek you and to see uh, forsake wickedness and unbelief and seek your holy name. And I pray, Father, for these things and ask you and thank you 
in the beloved name, in the sacred holy name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.